Pardon me. Who's there? May I talk to you for a moment? What is it? Oh, hi, mister. You know this man? He's my friend, Daddy. Well, get to it. I haven't seen Yuen around. If you know anything, I'd... Huh? What happened? Some thugs I'd never seen before showed up and wrecked my place. Thugs, huh? Why would they do this? It's me. They asked if I was a stonemason, so I said yes. And they just went crazy. Why stonemasons? They were definitely looking for something. What did they look like? Well, they weren't from around here, that's for sure. There were two of them. One had a shaved head with a tattoo on it. Don't tell me. They went to Yuan's place too? I don't know. Yuan was in the quarry when he disappeared. You're kidding. Those thugs might have something to do with that too. Maybe. I'll be sure to tell Shenhua. It's gotten so dark. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house. Hi there. Are you from Japan by chance? Yes. Japan may be a small island country, but I've heard that it has steep mountains with great streams. Yeah, you're not wrong. Huh? You don't fish them? Not really my thing. I don't have time to waste with someone who doesn't even know. Do you have a moment? Huh? What is it? There's something I want to ask. What do you want? Have you seen the thugs that came to the village recently? Leave me alone. I don't have time for this. Uh, okay. Excuse me. What is it? Have you seen the thugs that came to the village recently? I'm sick and tired of talking about all that. Things are finally starting to get back to normal around here. Sorry to bother you. Anything new, y'all? Not about your father, no. I see. It seems that the thugs invaded Mr. Joe's home, though. Joe, you mean Ling's house? They must have my father then. We shouldn't jump to conclusions. I'm going with you tomorrow. What? I can't stop thinking about these thugs. I want to know more. All right, then. We'll go together. Good. Leo? Yeah? I've been thinking about the thugs that went to Ling's house. And? I don't think it was a coincidence. I'm with you. They must have had a reason. Let's talk to the villagers together tomorrow. Okay. I want to ask some questions of my own.
I shouldn't go in without permission. Shenmue's flute. It was made out of wood from the Shenmu tree, wasn't it? Sunflower seeds? What are they doing here? Shenhua when she was little? That's probably you. Where is this?
Doesn't look like a book I'd read. An upside down fortune symbol. Buddha statue, huh? Good morning, Ryo. Good morning. Did you get enough rest? Yeah. Hey, um... What is it, Ryo? We should get ready to go. Got it. Let's get moving. Your house is pretty far from the village, huh, Shenhua? Oh, yes, I suppose you're right. Is there a reason for that? The quarry could be one. Sorry? The quarry. It's a special one that even I'm not allowed to enter. Ah. So, your house is there to protect it? Yes, I believe so. Father didn't tell me anything about it, though. I see. Do you know what the dragon and phoenix in the quarry were for? No, I don't. But your father carved them, right? Yes, he must have. He wasn't alone, though. What do you mean by that? They must have taken generations to complete. So, you think your grandfather worked on them, too? Yes, possibly even further back than that. Have you heard any stories about them? Not a single one. My father always said he'd tell me when I got older. Then how do you know it has so much history? Well, everyone in the village has history. The villagers? Yes, generations of stonemasons, hunters, and farmers have all lived here. The same goes for the cattle wranglers. They've been here for ages. Oh, yeah? That's just how things work here.
Is this a dojo? That's right. This is Marshall Hall. It's been here for ages. Marshall Hall. Long ago, many great martial artists traveled here from all over the world. But no one comes here nowadays. Is that so? Ryo, you should come here to practice when you have time. Is that okay? Of course. Our doors are open to everyone that comes here looking to master the martial arts. Are you a new trainee? Sorry? Mmm, you're Japanese. I am. The people of Bailu Village have trained here for centuries. It has history. Did you say centuries? You would do well to train here if you have lost sight of the path. You can polish your techniques. So you'll let me train here? Not only that, I'll let you prove yourself by fighting the monks here. You're on. A fight? Very well. Your first opponent shall be Red Tiger. He is our least skilled monk, but do not underestimate him. say you will you join us yes absolutely very well what is your name Ryo Hazuki I shall have a name tag prepared for you you will start from the lowest rank rank yes you must fight and defeat someone above your rank in order to move up you must train day in and day out to improve your kung fu I'll go after Shenhua. Whose shop is that? Over the bridge. Oh, it belongs to Uncle Tao. Uncle Tao, huh? Yes. People can get anything they need from his shop. I see. Leo, did you pack anything to eat? Why do you ask? Well, you can't run on an empty stomach. That's a very good point. Be sure to keep a little something on hand in case you get hungry later. A lot of places in the village sell food, too. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Yo, the herb.
this is. It's licorice. You can make Chinese medicine with it. So, you can turn this into medicine, huh? Not just this. There are lots of herbs growing in Bailu. Where do they grow? They're all over the place, but you have to really look for them. Oh, really? There should be special maps at Uncle Tao's shop. Someone actually made maps? Yes, if you find enough to make some medicine. Uncle Tao will buy them from you. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. I'm going to lose sight of Shenhua. I'd better hurry. I would like to know, what's the tall tower just past the village square? Uh, yes, that's the bell tower. What is it for? We ring the bell if there's a fire in the mountains, or if something dangerous is encroaching on the village. Is that why it's so tall? Precisely. It's also a useful landmark, because you can see it from anywhere in the village. That's handy. So, you can find your way back to the square, if you head for the bell tower? That's right. I'll have to keep that in mind. Excuse me. Oh, hey kid. What do you want? Have you come to apprentice under me? Oh, nothing. You're a beginner, right? You have a name? Ryo Hazuki. Well, Ryo, it's your lucky day. Fear not, for I am the great Suza Xiong. I can forge a formidable master out of the most hopeless of pupils. You stand before a Chun Tai cheer master. Um, yeah, I'm good, thanks. What? You don't think I've got what it takes? That's not what I... Then let me show you what I've got! Fight me! Right now! Oh, man. Look, I'm not opposed, but... It's too late now, R It was Ryo, right? Thanks for that. Well, how's it feel? Pretty nice to train with a master like me, isn't it? Hmm? Uh, 
Sure. Come by any time. I'm always up for a fight. Hi there. Zhe Xiang. What gives, young lady? Have we met or something? It's me, Shen Hua. Shen Hua? Look at you! You've grown like a weed since we last met. Have you seen the thugs that came here recently? Thugs, huh? I'll help you get rid of them. They don't call me the Lu Bu of Bai Lu Village for nothing. Zhe Xiang. Did you say Lu Bu? Wasn't he a bit of a thug himself? Wait, what? You sure? Well, you might have noticed, but this ain't no freaking school. Right. Hi, Zhishong. Good timing, bud. I was just starting to get bored. Let's spar. Now's not a good time. Wow, way to kill my buzz. Oh well, next time. Sorry. Excuse me. You're not from around here, are you? Yue Feng, this is a friend of mine. Um... Is that right? Have you seen the thugs that came to the village recently? Word has it they showed up at the Wong household. But Wen's lips are sealed. Maybe she'd open up to you. It's worth a shot. Thank you very much. Just be careful, okay? She'd be heartbroken if anything were to happen to you. Huh? Who would be heartbroken? Shen Hua, that's who! Actually, I... Oh dear. There I go running my mouth again! <laughs> okay then. I need help with something. I have nothing to say to a stranger. Can I talk to you about something? Sh Shenhua, w what's up? This is Liu. He's a friend of mine. For real? I need help with something. Hmm? I'm looking for Wang Wen. I have nothing to say to a stranger. Ming Yang. W w what Shenhua? Did you see Wang Wen or not? I saw her heading toward the Verdant Bridge. Thanks, Ming Yang. Oh, uh, don't mention it. I'm just, you know. Hey, bud. Bud, over here. You can't play unless you buy some tokens. Okay. Buy some tokens if you want to play. Excuse me. Hello there. Welcome. Care for some lucky hit? This is circle one. No, thanks. I'd rather you play than talk. Circle One is so much fun! Not right now. You're not going to play? I'm heartbroken. Excuse me. Huh? You talking to me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wanna have a drink with me? It's going on your tab, laddie! Seems like you've already had a few. I'm just having a good time. I'm not drunk. Who said that?
Excuse me. You've only got one shot. Will you take it? No, thanks. Don't look so glum, chum. One shot will cheer you up. Not right now. If you say so, nothing lifts the spirits like a great game. Excuse me. Huh? What is it? Hello, one. Senhua! This is my friend, Yo. Oh, really? Your friend? I'm looking for some thugs. Have you seen any? One. Did the thugs show up here? That they did. But my husband drove them off. He's really good to have around in times like these. What did they want? That's what I'd like to know. They kept hollering something about wanting to meet the stonemason. I was inside and didn't see anything. My husband told me about it after it was over. I see. Let's talk to Shiren, one's husband. Good idea. Thanks again. Thanks, one. Hello, Leo. Da Tong. What's with the two of you? Is Wong Shiren around? I'd like to talk to Shiren. He left to patrol Long Weishan. It's up ahead. You'll see signs for it. I see. Looks like I can practice horse dance here. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Horse dance, huh? Maybe I'll give it a shot. Maybe I'll practice some more.
Should I keep going? Maybe later. Excuse me. What do you want? What are you two doing here? Uh, there's something I want to ask. I'm looking for some thugs. Have you seen any? Did you see two of them the other night? Yeah, a big man with long hair, and a man with a shaved head and a spider tattoo. Tell me more. They barged in during the middle of the night when I was sleeping. They kept yelling this and that about a stonemason. I told them they had the wrong house and drove them off. Then I went right back to bed. Is there anybody else? Do you know where they went after that? That I don't know, but I do know that there were other witnesses. A man I met at the bar was talking about it. He was a bookie with a scar on his face. What kind of scar? A big one, on his cheek. We should talk to him, Leon. Yes. Let's go find him. I could practice my one-inch punch. Sure, I'll give it a shot. One-inch punch. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Keep going. Maybe later. Pardon me. Ah, young Hazuki. Have you come to train? Actually, I just have a question. A martial artist has no need for small talk, only for training. Right. Do you understand? Yes. Even gems require polish. Keep training. I understand. Excuse me. Hmm. Here to train? Have you come to spar or fight one of the monks? Which will it be? Very well. At your level, Red Tiger should be a good match. Sit! <laughs> 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 
Yes, well done. That's enough to raise your rank. Thank you. Do not get complacent. You must aim ever higher. Hey, Shenhua. Yeah? I think we should split up and look for the bookie. I'll search from here to the village square. You go from the village square to the next settlement. Got it. I'll see you later. Yeah. about you. You're Shenhua's friend, aren't you? The name's Hazuki. Oh, oh, you look strong. Um, a young man like you needs a snake power. It's a bottle of snake power. Why this? Deadly snake venom fermented for three months. It's just one of the medicines that'll help you in battle. It'll fix you up good. I see, I think. I always sell it here at my shop, in case you forget. Excuse me. What is it? I hear I can earn some money here. If you're chopping, I'm paying. Chopping wood? Yeah. Will you do it? That's it. 
I guess this should do it. No, I'm good. Well, I ain't forcing you to do anything. The job will be waiting for you. Excuse me. What is it? I'm here to shop. Hmm. What do you need? I'll be here. Thanks. <laughs> 